Don't sell goodbye. Yo, and goodbye. What's going on, everyone? This is PD Prolog. Yes, I've just seen the breaking news on Sky Sports. PSG has agreed to deal with Newcastle for Johan Kabai. Yeah, it was coming. I could definitely see that one coming. Because, like, um, back in summer gone, we had a report that we rejected a bid from Arsenal for Johan Kabai for £10 million. And after that, he refused to play, especially two games. And I was thinking, if he's not going in this summer transfer window, he's going in the January transfer window. Then, we're here, a second announcement, another thing, uh, yesterday. Newcastle rejected a £40 million bid from PSG for Johan Goodbye. And I was like, yes, good. Hopefully, he's staying. That's it. No more bids. Until there was loads of rumours going out on Facebook and stuff saying, Johan Goodbye. Has told Pardew he wants to leave the club. Nah, this is a wind up man. It's just Newcastle with the old rubbish again, just because we've got no transfers coming in whatsoever. It's not true, nah. And also, again, numerous reports that PSG have come in with a second bid for Johan Kabai. Nah. I was saying. I bet it's in Sky Sports, you know, just to make sure this is true. Brian at Sky Sports. PSG's the deal of degree for Newcastle for Yon Kabat. It was coming. It was coming. <sighs> well, the thing is, what do we do from here? We need replacements. That's if Mike actually gets off his fat ass and do some business. We probably know he won't know him because the bloke is an absolute clown. And you know what he's like for his cash and all that. <sighs> Especially when his wallet. Well, you can say anything about his wallet really. Whatever he does with it. Um, oh, so if no replacements. Stick a needer in more often. I want to see more of that kid play at least. And also, what I would do is start Ben Arfa. Play him like up the middle, just behind Remy. That's what I would do. Even, I've heard other people say there's Ben Arfa, play up the middle, just off a striker playing. Just like playing off Remy. So you've got well, like a 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one formation. That should, what Newcastle should do next. If Kabaya is definitely going. So like go midfield, Sissoko right, Gufran left, Tioti, Tioti, whatever you say, Teori, Anita, centre midfielder. Ben Arfa just in front of the four midfielders. Remy up front. Defence wouldn't change it. And no collars out, yes, but... But stick and b and or Stevie Taylor alongside Williamson. And keep the right back, left back the same. So, yeah. That's what I would do if no transfer was coming. But we need to... Try and get at least something before this January transfer window. Because I'm sick of Newcastle not doing any business in this transfer window. I'm just absolutely bored to death with it. And we're just here. We're going to be losing our best player for, this season, for the rest of the season. And especially we've got a game tomorrow against Norwich. Especially we've got a derby on Saturday. What do Newcastle do from here? Derby, especially the Derby, we need to up this game. We cannot get beat in the game at home, off the Mackhams again. I am sick of watching Newcastle getting beat by uh, Sunderland. It makes our club like look a right laughing stock. I've had enough of it. Please beat these, beat these clowns. I'm sick of losing to Sunderland right now. I don't want another third Derby defeat in a row. Because to be honest, if it happens, New Sunderland are just going to beat where every every game. I can see it coming. And to be honest, yeah, they're in the relegation spot, but the way they've been playing, I think they've got a chance to get out of it now, which is what I'm saying. And they've actually done a little bit of business in this transfer window. Yes, they've got a new goalkeeper, but they've also got a new defender. It also see what Sunderland can do, but it shows Newcastle are not bothered, especially when we've got a clown for a chairman. And an absolute person who's just lazy as a director of football. Well, yeah. People say Mike Ashley is the one to blame for Newcastle not buying anyone because there was a talk right with him and uh, 
Kevin, when he when it was with Keegan, Mike Ashley Lambias, yes, there was, there will, Mike Ashley will agree with Keegan and Lambias, yes, will bid this amount for a player at least, but then, Mike Ashley would ring Lambias back in and say, right, we're not gonna bid, we're gonna bid less than what we thought we're gonna bid because like, they don't like doing what they don't like doing stuff with our money especially, so yeah, that's why, and that's how Newcastle lose out on players based style. So yeah, so yeah, that's my video of the breaking news. Kabai is leaving Newcastle United and is off to PSG. This is my video of the of this. So yeah, subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Check us out on Twitter if you want. Twitter at Peter Proudy. I'll see you later. Yeah, to be honest, wish him the kid good luck where if he goes to PSG. But hopefully Newcastle can try and step up after that. Let's see what happens. Take care for now. I'll see you later.